And if you happen to be anywhere around the triangle today, what you might have felt, Robert says, was just the leftover effects of, of Ian going and, through. And we will have another day with more leftover effects from Ian tomorrow, Dewan. Aside from Ian, we are also tracking a couple of other areas of low pressure, broad areas of low pressure, otherwise known as tropical waves out in the Atlantic. There's one area just south of the Cabo Verde Islands. It was it's going to track to the west and then eventually to the northwest, and it has a high chance of becoming a tropical depression within the next five days. So we'll continue to watch this one. This likely wouldn't have any impact for us, but still we'll watch it. And then there's another one in the middle of the Atlantic. It will continue to track to the west and move toward the Windward Islands, then into the Caribbean Sea. Still very warm water there, even though Ian already moved through. So yes, you got some upwelling, so some cooler water came to the top, but it's still very, very warm. This has a medium chance of development over the next five days, and we'll continue to watch this one especially very closely uh, as we go throughout the next several days. The next name on the list is Julia. Right here at home, the Remnants of Ian still being felt certainly much cooler compared to what we should be this time of the year. Normally 78 degrees, but today 66 and we didn't even get out of the 50s in some areas, only up to 57 degrees in Roxborough, 59 in Oxford, 64 Irwin, but 69 degrees in Fayetteville where you got a little bit more sunshine today. Satellite and radar shows that rain bands still continue to extend from the northeast through the mid-Atlantic all the way down into parts of the southeast. Those are Ian's remnants and there's the area of low pressure with Ian just to the uh, east and just to the northeast of Norfolk, Virginia. A view a little closer to home. Still some light rain bands uh, drifting from the northwest and sliding to the south and southeast. Some light shower activity leaving southern Virginia, moving out of Mecklenburg, Virginia, and moving into parts of Granville, Vance, Warren County, Northampton County, and even extending itself into parts of Halifax County. And a couple more drizzle drops moving their way out of Wayne County and Sampson County, and then all of that continuing to slide to the south. Right now in the triangle, we're dry, still cloudy though, with a breeze out of the north northeast at 10 miles per hour, so it feels cool out there, 57 degrees currently. Overnight tonight, plenty of clouds and watching for a couple of spotty showers, 40s and 50s tonight, 46 in Roxborough, 51 in Raleigh, 54 degrees in Fayetteville. Then for tomorrow morning, plenty of clouds to start the day. Watch for a spotty shower, especially east of the triangle. By 8 a.m., it's 51 degrees. By 10 a.m., it's 54 degrees and then by tomorrow afternoon a similar feel compared to today as that area of low pressure with Ian continues to track away from us it will still give us some clouds and especially a shower or two again mainly east of the triangle the highs 61 in Roxborough 63 in the triangle and 64 degrees in Fayetteville your seven day forecast powered by AccuWeather tomorrow, mostly cloudy with a few showers, 63 Tuesday, partly cloudy, a cool breeze, 64 and plenty of sunshine Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, Wednesday, 72 getting warmer Thursday, 76 with wall to wall sunshine Friday, a fine finish, 80 degrees. Then a cold front comes through Friday night. It looks like it comes through dry, so no rain at this point Saturday. Partly cloudy, much cooler, 65 for the high. And then for Sunday, bright and blue, looking really nice with a high of 67 degrees. So another day that feels just like it felt today and just like yesterday. And then things really start to improve by Tuesday and especially so for Wednesday. All right, I'll look forward to midweek. All, All right. right, there you go. Robert, thanks so much. Yeah.